The stud finder said that these were studs and they're not. Ultimate test. If you're new here and wondering what the heck is going on, my name is Wesley and I'm a YouTuber trying not to make New York City my entire personality and this is my boyfriend Albie. He likes to make corny dad jokes and build things, which has been very helpful lately because we just moved into our new apartment in Brooklyn. Our window doesn't have a screen, it just opens all the way. I wanted to give you guys a little update on how the move has been going, which if you're short on time, this is a pretty accurate summary. I present to you the current state of my closet. But if you have a few extra minutes to spare, then get ready for some amateur furniture building, occasional hiccups and some brief attempts to get my life together. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Running late as per usual. I'm running to meet my friend Megan out for dinner at Miss Ada and let me tell you, as someone who is not easily impressed, this place was so friggin' incredible. I'll be dreaming about their brown butter, honey ricotta, and chicken gizzard hummus for many years to come. But despite the smile that you're seeing, to be honest, I was in a lot of physical discomfort here and that's because... I got bed bugs when I was in LA. It was at the Airbnb Verbo we were at. I do get really bad reactions to mosquito bites. I think I just have sensitive skin and I guess I react really badly to bed bugs as well, unfortunately. I did go through the whole song and dance of, you know, like heat treating all my clothes, spraying down all my luggage and everything. So far, no signs that we brought any home, but the healing process could be better. I did actually go to urgent care and they gave me a cortisol shot in my glute, which they said wasn't gonna hurt. And as we all know, doctors lie. Anyway, that's how I'm doing. How's your Monday? This evening, I was focused on unpacking more of the kitchen while I'll be put together our media console that just came in. We actually make a really great team living together because he likes to build and maintain while I like to organize and design. So we end up complementing each other's strengths and weaknesses quite well. I wanted to show you guys my desk setup so far. It is a standing desk. I do work from home at a computer five to six days a week, 10 hours a day, which whether or not that's a healthy habit can be a conversation for another time, but I did want something that would encourage some more movement and healthy habits and not just me slouching over all day. And I also got this Nifty chair from Facebook Marketplace. This is my same monitor from my last desk at my old apartment and it does move up and down, which is good because the height for standing and sitting can be different. I'm waiting on my new mechanical keyboard to come in and I'm also getting a desk shelf. I have been a really big fan of trackpads for a long time. I grew up using Wacom tablets, but I might go back to a mouse. I'm looking at the Logitech MX3. I think it might actually work pretty well with the design applications I use. TBD. This little bucket of goodies right here contains a bunch of tech, hard drives, cords, art prints, and you can see that it is very close to my desk as well as very close to the area where I put my morning coffee. Can you guess what happened? A lot has changed since my last empty apartment tour in my previous video, so I'm gonna give you guys a little mini tour. Keep in mind, this is still very work in progress. So we got this island set up here with these beautiful rattan chairs. I love the leather. And there is a little secret storage area in the back that you don't see and it kind of reduces clutter, which I like. I have also finished organizing all of my clothes in my walk-in closet. I've not had a walk-in closet like this since I was in high school. I also put this little dresser in here, got all my pants, some storage up there. All my bags, sleeping shirts, Muay Thai stuff, more pants, shoes, more shoes under there, hidden divided hamper back here. Ignore this part, I have not tackled the bathroom yet, so that's gonna be my next project later today after work. Futon. This little guy is temporary. I did order us a couch, which I'm very excited for. Unfortunately, it's not coming until July, and we didn't want to just be sitting on the floor for two months. We also have this Nice little ottoman. There is storage under here, so maybe we'll be able to keep this afterwards. This is our media console that we just built. Uh, I don't know if it's really considered a media console. It's more just like a shelf to decorate under the media. We have our PS5, both of our Switches, some more gaming consoles down here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna style this yet, but we just kind of put random things there for now. 
And welcome the new member of the family. He doesn't have a name yet, but we picked up this really nice baby Monstera, Monstera? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Uh, it was from a family that is moving out of the country and they wanted to rehome it and they were very happy to be rehoming it to a quality home. We also have this little guy hiding in there. I started collecting these a couple years ago. You can find them at a lot of Japanese stores. You can see there's another one here. One of my favorite games to play when people come into the house is to see who can find all of them first. Still a work in progress, but I think it's coming together. We got no food in the house, so we're gonna go fix that. To be fair, I have been eating out for 90% of my meals for the last two or three months. So we had to do something about it. I did get some plants just to warm the place up a little bit. Tulips, one of my favorite flowers. And look how cute she is. This is a mini tropical ceramic. Oh, that's the, the bowl. And little baby fiddle leaf. But I have been wanting to get more into plants, but the extent of my knowledge of plant care is to just water them when you remember to. So I would love to learn more about different species, what lights they need, watering schedules, start growing them, make my own little jungle. I literally got a mountain of food. So after two weeks of doing my makeup on the floor, my vanity finally arrived. I put this one together myself to give Albie a break so he could play Tears of the Kingdom instead. And overall, we've gotten a lot of progress done, but there's still a lot more to go, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cheesy stuff if you want to see the next episode. For now, I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.